welcome to our next lesson. This lesson is going to dwell on uh, problem solving from KMF number three. It is somewhere there. So it says that there is town A on longitude 47 north and 25 degrees east. And there is another town B on the same latitude 47 degrees north but 70 degrees east. Okay? So, if you draw that latitude because it is on the northern side. Remember, we said anything blah blah north it is on the northern side. And then blah blah south is on the southern hemisphere. So we have this latitude, and then I have done dotted to show you is a small circle. Then our angles east and west are measured with respect to meridian. So I put here our meridian here, meridian. So from here, I can measure 25 on the right hand side, that is east. Then from the same meridian, I measure angle 70 towards right because it is east. So when we extract the latitude here now, this, it's a small circle. A small circle whose radius is small r. And then you can see there is a meridian here. This is our meridian. Measure 25. Again from meridian measure 70. So latitude, uh, longitude difference. Longitude difference is 70 minus 25, which is 45. So this is the angle that is responsible for this arc length AB. Okay? Now, I want us to get AB in kilometers. AB in kilometers will be 45 over 60, 360. The angle subtended at the center over 360 times 2 pi small r. Small r means the radius of the latitude. I've put it in red. Why? Because small r 1, it is related to big R in the relation R is equal to capital R cos alpha. Remember in my previous lesson I explained that. So we shall be substituting small r with 6370 kilometer cos 47. Remember the capital R times cos alpha gives you the value of small r. It is very rare that you will be given small r. And in case you are given small r, you use it. If it is not given, you have to apply this relationship here. That is what I've put. Now, key thing to note that 45 over 360 has no unit. 2 pi, no unit. These are just numbers, constants. Then 6370 gives you the unit of the length of the arc. In my case, this radius is 6370 kilometers. Cos 47 is a ratio. It has no units. So, always remember, the radius gives you the unit of the arc length. So, in my case, 6370 is in kilometer. I'll get my arc length AB in kilometer. Compute and you get that. Now, let us look at this lower part. I want us to focus a bit now. Let me focus here. Yes. Let me focus. Repeat this. That the radius here gives you the unit of the arc length. This radius here. If this radius is in meters, then arc length AB can be found in meters, and then you can convert to any asked unit. But the key thing is, 
this is the only part that has unit the rest are, have no units okay now let us look at a b in nutical mile what do we do in nutical mile we write 60 times the angle subtended at the center times cos of latitude this is a relationship which can be derived okay so you don't need to worry about this you have to know how it comes about okay but basically i've tried to show you to just jog your mind a degree and a minute are measures of angle okay let me focus again up a bit what i'm trying to say is angles are measures uh, measured in degrees they are also measured in minutes okay then of course we have radian measure those are measures that we use in angles but for the purpose of this lesson i want you to remember that a degree is equal to 60 minutes how do you recall that one hour 60 minutes from there in quotes eh? one hour 60 minutes in quote you come to angles one degree 60 minutes okay but we know that uh, an arc length of one nautical mile is subtended by one minute so if the angle at the center there is one minute then the arc length is normally one nautical mile now i want us to focus here i explain a bit again and come down focus so one degree is equivalent to 60 minutes at the same time we know an angle that is one minute at the center uh, produces an arc length of one nautical mile so i want you to know one minute one nautical mile as a length an angle of one minute an arc length of one nautical mile but we know that one degree is 60 minutes if one minute subtend an arc length of an angle an angle of one minute is equivalent to one nautical miles there then if I multiply this time side by 60, I also multiply this side by 60. So, why do I multiply by 60? Because there is a connection between 60 minutes and 1 degree. So, 1 minute has an arc length of 1 nit mile. Therefore, 60 minutes will have an arc length of 60 nit mile. But this 60 minutes can be again substituted to one degree which will be 60 nautical miles okay so in conclusion you can relate a degree and the nautical miles so if i ask you now if i may focus again down here if i ask you if one one degree is 60 nautical miles Okay, one degree is 60 nautical mile. What about 45 degrees? It will be 45 times 60 nautical mile. Okay, but we use this relationship if it is a great circle. If it is a small circle, you will multiply the angle at the center plus an additional factor of latitude angle okay so we need we focus we need to know what is the relationship between a degree and minutes those are measures of angles okay degrees minutes then we relate that to the arc length if one degree is subtended at the center then the arc length is 60 nautical miles okay those are languages the nautical miles are used in navigation okay when vessels move under the influence of wind we talk of navigation okay like in sea in 
aeroplane, they tend to use such language, okay? We shall also see what is a note, okay? So, can you try this? Go step by step. First, know how to draw the sketch diagram which will concretize your ideas. Try the same question, then next. I'll do one more to show you time difference. Till then, bye.